Hey everyone, how's everyone doing today? Welcome to the T Boss Show. This is John Daly. I want to talk about something that not a lot of people are willing to admit to themselves, and that is their eating habits. And primarily, I want to go over things like the difference between a raw food and a cooked food, and what the difference might be in terms of how your body reacts to it and two, just what the role of the digestive system is and how things like chewing really, really benefit us long term, even increase the length of our life. So, raw food. A raw food is something that's been taken out of nature, say an apple, and eaten. Pretty simple. Now, cooked food is something that's been process, put in a package, put in a box, or pretty much anything that's been subject to heat. Now, the difference between how our body reacts to these foods is radically different. A raw food carries a structure that has a balance of vitamins to minerals or vitamins to amino acids, let's say vitamin E to iron and vitamin B6 to methionine. Now, these are natural ratios that nature has. Nature is very intelligent. Things only seem to go wrong with our bodies when we, we tend to think science has more of a grasp. So, that being said, uh, raw food is digested properly because the body recognizes it. Now when we change that structure, our body has to excrete all these enzymes and hope that it, it grabs the vitamins and minerals that it needs. And unfortunately in this process, it usually involves a lot of things like heartburn or acid reflux. Um, not all of these are primarily from cooked food, however, the body overcompensates and doesn't recognize it. So when we do have a cooked food, our body actually thinks it's a toxin. Our body will actually shut down the immune system and say, hey, we got a problem here. And it sends all these white blood cells to the digestive tract in the hopes of alleviating this issue. And this is known as digestive leukocytosis. And this is something that obviously uh, promenades in our culture quite a bit. And long term, this can lead to almost any illness you can name. And I'll talk about that in a moment as to why. So when that happens in our body, our body no longer can start cleaning the blood. So it leaves our immunity at a lower state. We, get, we can get sick often. We can catch that flu that's constantly been going around. And diet is an important, important thing to holistic health. There are many others, which we'll talk about in other videos, but I'll focus on diet just for this one. And regarding that, if we have these unrecognized structures, we can also create undigested proteins that stay in our body and even that can form like a mucoid plaque or our body creates like this tar or this thick coating around our intestines to protect us from these from these undigested proteins especially things like meat which can just putrefy for days 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 and days without ever leaving our system and dare I say weeks 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 months 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 for some people and that's why colon irrigation can be a godsend for a lot of people especially meat eaters and I think that's a pretty good introduction for what happens with raw and cooked food and the difference between the two. The other one, however, that I did want to mention is long term, this is what causes us to age. If we are constantly spending all our metabolic and enzymes that our body creates on digestion, we aren't cleaning the blood. We aren't uh, eliminating any toxins or bacteria that might be in the blood. and obviously we can see where that would lead to premature aging. And so two, digestion. Digestion starts in the mouth. And I know a lot of people that don't like to chew or just hasn't become an interest. And what I'll mention here is, I'll, I'll mention a topic that I haven't introduced before. And that's making eating something more sacred. Make eating an appreciation of, of nature and kind of the way we interact with it. And so when we do that, we give our mouth time, or our exocrine glands, glands time under our tongue to create 
amylase, which is a digestive enzyme, and that helps us to break carbohydrates into si simple sugars that our body can utilize right away. And those are things that the brain needs for quick energy, things like apples or fruits in general. And so when we start considering our mouth to be part of our digestive system, as part of the gastrointestinal tract, we can generally appreciate a little bit more than chew that chewing plays a big role in that. So chew, 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 people. Go from the back, generally, and to the finer pieces in the teeth, and make it just an enjoyment. Make, make eating something that you, you love, that you do by yourself, that you don't make a uh, on-the-go or a multitask event. Let it be something that you, you, you ground yourself, just like in the breathing that we talked about. You ground yourself, and you let that be the moment. You let that be what you're experiencing. So once we do have those particles broken down, our body doesn't need to excrete all this acid to break it down any further. So our body spends less time digesting and more time cleaning the blood. So if we eat a lot of appropriate raw food and chew very well, our body takes very little effort to get at the, the food, get at the minerals, and we can clean our blood, which starts healing disease. This happens very, very quickly. So. I hope you learned something, and this is something that you'll hear more and more. Chemical structure of food, and I'm sure I'll even talk about the chemical structure of water, because there are differences. So again, wish you the best on your journey, and I'll probably post a few things on here for your own research. All right? And if you haven't heard, uh, seen yet, check out the movie Food Matters. It is spectacular.